assembly, we will hands on RIS5 and learn to program in assembly using the RIS5 simulator. Now we prepare the environment. In here, we will practice using RIPES, which is a visual simulator for RIS5 architecture and assembly code. We can use RIPES to know how machine code is executed, how the C and assembly code is compiled and assembled into executable machine code, which is part of this we already learned in previous week. And in here, we will know how a processor interact with the memory map IO device. First, we will set up the environment. The, the RIPES is open source and support Windows and Mac and Linux. You can download in this address of GitHub and select the binary based on the OS. For Linux, there is an app image and for Mac, there is the zip and another zip for the Windows. Once downloaded, extract and run the RIPES executable. You will get the interface like this. Reset, back, next and run clock. This is the control button for the processor and there is also a selection for processor and ISA. We can select multiple ISA in here by selecting this and there is assembly editor. We can write our program in this part and beside that there is this assembled view of the assembly and this is the console output if you want to print something and this is information on bottom right there is information that processor currently use is single cycle processor i say is rv32im and we can also see the values of the register in here from x0 to the last register and we can also set the view which is hex or binary or decimal in here now the there is another part that we already learned before that we can use the C executable code and the view mode change from binary to disassembly. Now for the processor selection, click in this part and we will select the single cycle processor and we will choose the RISVAF IM with support multiple and multiply multiplication and division and click OK for that. We go with the simple loop example. We have we have and declare data here and we have a a label a which pointing to a word which is 10 and then we have a text which is the program we load word a into a0 and then load immediate a1 with 5 we loop by again we add the a0 minus 1 by 1 from 10 and decrement it until it is the same with a1 if not it's go again 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 and end after that no operation we can simulate this and run by clicking the next cycle next cycle and then we can observe the value of its register and it will change and the a0 will be decreased until it is the same value with a1 and then the loop will finish now supported environment calls in ripe is listed in this table if we have integer to print we will use we will set the a0 in into the integer and a7 into 1 and it will print the value located in a0 as sign integer and there is another float pointer and char integer and so on print as hex bin char and other else by using by setting the different a0 register now let's start by printing to the console we will define our data here the string str in here we write abc and the text we will load the we will load the a0 to 42 which is the integer that integer that we will print and we will load the a0 s1 which will print this integer as integer so when we call e call environment call it will print the 42 to the console as you can see here 42 and then after that we load again a7 s11 which will print as ascii when we call it will print the 42 as ascii which is the star sign and when we load address of a0 into an address pointing to a string and we call with a7 set to 4 we will print the string in address like this abc the e call we read the a0 and a7 arguments of course in the real operating system the arguments is different but in ripes 
this is the supported argument for experiment and now we move to the memory map IO device the memory map IO device includes various device in RIPES that we can experiment we can simulate a small embedded system with this because we have LEDs, switches, switches, and D-pads in this tutorial we will explain how to operate this switch and also the LED matrix and how to connect between them in assembly so the LED addressing is mapped to a 24-bit register it stores color in RGB value blue value is the LSP so each fa this value defines the color of the LED RRGGBB in here the register map so the LED 0 is located at address 0 which means the base from F0004 now for LED1 this one is F0008 because the each address is 4 because each address is 4 byte distance so this one is 4 this is 8 and this is the C and so on and now we how we activate this device in RIPES first click the double click the list of item to add the device in here we go to the IO tabs and click which device we will use and there is the device will be shown in this area and if you click this small button right here it will make the device always shown between each step so if we open memory case processor or editor the device will not disappear and then there is in this part the device, device configuration parameter we will we can modify the height of the height of the LED to be on our own and set the width and also the LED size and also in here we can see the register map and each entry of the components and device relative to the base address which is shown in the sixth part here now we prepare the matrix LED activate the matrix LED by double click the in IO tab go to LED matrix and click double click and we will use egg LED by egg LED and also set the size to 50 so we can see it clearly for basic now click the small button near the close button on LED window so that we can see the LED matrix while seeing the code and then move back to the editor tab you should be able to see matrix LED while opening the editor tab we we will after we finish we will show this export which show the base address size width and height now this is the matrix LED code after we set up the matrix LED we can copy this program into the editor tab for the explanation in this part we prepare the data first of each LED written in multiple words I I set R1 as label in here in here we will write a RIS5 logo in simple design we will set the bit for this bit represents the LED of each LED in matrix so this will form an RV logo and then we after we define the value we define the matrix LED base pointer in the register and define the color that we will use for the foreground this is the value that I got from RIS5 foreground and background you can just use FFF or 000 and define the matrix LED boundary in this part we use the LED matrix size this is used for when we this is used to know when we need to finish writing to the LED register now first of course we need to initialize the LED we initialize all the color to black you can see example here we set all the color of LED to be black we reset and move address and then check the boundary if it's still not outside boundary we go again and set the value of LED to be 0000. Now, after that, all the LED is black. We initialize the column pointer T0 to read the pattern data. This is to choose the LED in column order. Now we initialize T1 as column comparator and load address of parent pattern to A2, R1, which point to RIS5 logo, and we load the value in that into a1 now we mask the bit and check if the value is 1 or 0 by using n and branch equal 0 we match the 
value we mask the a1 and t2 i'm oh, sorry we mask the a1 with the pointer column selector and after that we check if it's if it's one then we will print then we will set the led value into into the corresponding address by using s3 which is the foreground color if it's not equal if it's equal to zero if it's zero then we will set the color to background by jumping to background light and s4 as the color to the led and then jump to con we begin to step into the next row if it's we check first if it's equal if it's equal to the last column then it go to the next row if it's not it will continue to move to another column by shifting the t0 and then increment the led address and this happens to all of the led until everything is written and this is the code for the next row changing the row from one row to another first we reset the column to the leftmost this we can also set to shift but we choose to use load immediate for readable for readability and point to the next led and check if this is the last LED. If yes, then it's done. If it's not, then we read the next row pattern and then loop again. And this is the result of the simple RISC-V logo drawing by using simple loop with IO device access. Now how to control this? Instead of just using loop, we will control using switch. We are able to access the LED as output. Let's use switch as input. In the plan is we will loop through each switch input and read the input value and set the corresponding LE. Prepare the device. We have the switch here, double click it. And let's just use X switch and change the matrix LED size to eight multiplied by one. So eight column, one row like this, same as the switch. So again, to make the device always shown, we need to click this button so we can see it while we open the editor tab. And this is the code we can copy and paste into the ripes and let's explain the code first we will prepare the constant for the led matrix base and others like colors and the switch base the led size and then we initialize the switch pointer to zero and accumulator we load switch input value to a3 we see the value s6 s6 is the switch base and then we shift right the that value by zero we shift Break the value in A3 with 0 and save the result on A1. Now if A1 is 0, then we must the A1 and we can read that as 0. We will fill the LED with background color, but if it's not, we will fill with the foreground color. A0 is the matrix base. Now after 1 is colored, we continue to move the to the next switch. This is the select switch selector and then we also move to the next LED and then we check if this is the boundary of the LED. If yes, then we if yes then we go to the first switch again read the switch again but if not we can start and loop to the next switch now this background light now this background light function will write the color of background to the led and after that jump and continue to the previously previous instruction that call it and the reset is changing back the pointer of switch reader to the first and set the selector of switch into zero and move points back to the first switch and led and this is the result we have switch on here which will turn the red the led to blue and off will turn the led to yellow one zero one one zero one zero 